guys, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you another Redstone tutorial. This time, we're doing the world's fastest bone meal less. Yes, zero bone meal crop farm, micro farm to be exact. Yep, here it is. So let's see how it works real fast. Let's uh, turn the switch on, come down here and just place your crops right there. They will grow and then they'll break. It does wheat, uh, potatoes, carrots. Oh, yeah, what else? Oh yeah, it does wheat and also beet roots. As you can see, as soon as they finish growing, they just break off. So we gotta wait for that to pulse and then turn it off. All the items are collected into either this hopper or this hopper. Okay guys, the way that this works is we're actually using a zero tick piston to push the fertilized soil back and forth, allowing them to allowing the crops to grow. So what we have is a consistent growth. We have them sitting over here. Uh, so the, as these pistons bounce back and forth, it's sending a signal here. And this piston is updating this piston and this piston at the same time, causing them to grow. Now, this circuit over here is just designed to control when to break the crops because you can't actually break the crops when they get zero tick, you actually just end up losing them. But if you push them just for a moment, they will break. And the uh, minecarts are there to collect them, and the hoppers are underneath there is to store them. So you take these, put them into whatever storage you, didn't, you feel like. So let's gather up all the stuff and build it. Okay guys, I got everything we need right in the shulker box so what we need is five sticky pistons two regular pistons 11 redstone dust one observer three redstone repeaters two redstone comparators a redstone torch one lever one water source two pieces of dirt a rail which you will get back two hopper mine carts two hoppers a bunch of blocks to put your stuff on a hoe to make tilled soil and one shulker box. So let's get all this stuff out. And my shulker box break. All right. So now, first thing we need to do is we need to create the zero tech. So we'll take two blocks, place them up on top of each other. Place your torches on the side and your lever, and activate it. We don't want them running right now. Block there, block there, we'll go a block up, we'll break that, block up, break that. Then get your sticky pistons, one not there, one there, and one there. Get your regular pistons, one underneath and another underneath. And we'll place a block there, get our dust, and dust there, dust there, dust there, dust there. <coughs> that right there creates zero tick. That's the circuit, that's the counter. That's what's controlling everything else. This is your control circuit. So come back to the other side. On the back other side of this piston, place a block there, uh, place your sticky piston and sticky piston. Get your dirt blocks, place and place. We can till those right now and get our water source and place it right there so those can be so those can become hydrated. We'll place a hopper there and hopper there. Now we'll go up two blocks. We don't need the block there. 
we're going to temporarily leave the block there. Get your shelter box, place it here. Get your rail. And place it on there with your minecart. Place it, break, open the shulker box, close it, break the shulker box. We don't need that there. We don't, in fact, we we'll don't need that one there. And then go to the other side, place your rail, minecart, break, open, break, break. There we go. So now we'll. You can leave it, oh, you can have that one full or leave it open, doesn't matter. But get your one observer, place it here. We need a block here and a block up. We don't need the block there. Get your, get your repeaters. In fact, let's get the rest of the stuff we need for this. Repeaters. And there we go. Now we need this repeater on at least two ticks delay. We don't need more than two ticks on this anyway, so. Six by six with one going up with the repeater going there. Don't need, oh, we need uh, dust right there, there, and there. Compare to going into the block, compare to coming out of the block. Now this is where it gets interesting. We place a sticky piston with a block right there. I'm just going to make a path for the redstone block there because we're going to place a dust there and a dust there repeater set to at least two ticks and this one to four and there we go now to make sure it works let's just let the uh, we can just continue we can run this let me get some potatoes and oh I forgot one of the most important things so let's turn it off real fast we're not updating these pistons so we need to place a block there a block there dust on top of those there we go that is done because now if you see these pistons are moving so if I double tap here it starts to grow they're getting grown by zero ticks and every time they get an update This observer powers this pulse extender, which keeps this piston out until it's done, and then this goes. And then they break and pulse again, causing a slight delay. So, if you're sitting here just growing them, you can stand up here, grow them all you want. Underneath the uh, observer, you can place the water. Don't matter where you place the water, but as you can see, they're growing and pulses, breaks, goes into the hoppers. Central storage, wait a few moments after the last one grows to allow those to pulse so that this part can see, uh, so this part can stay sealed. Nothing's going to get damaged. If it doesn't, I just like the look of it when it's sealed. So guys, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.